everyone, it's me, the Antimini Queen, and today's video is a spring mini Bath and Body Works haul. I didn't go too crazy, I didn't go how I usually do, but they had a lot of great deals at the old Bath and Body Works, so I thought I would partake. Yes, uh, the bag seems heavy, but that's because the lady, for whatever reason, thought it would be really great to stick all of my lotions and all of my potions in the same bag as two giant candles. So you know, Mama got tired when she went shopping and uh, cursed at the Bath and Body Works lady under her breath. They had like a three for three, you know me, I gotta have my scents dedicated to the season. And of course, spring is right around the corner. My windows are currently open. It looks like fall outside, but it feels like a cool, crisp spring day. So I am all for it. And of course, when you're dealing with spring, you're dealing with great floral scent. So that's what's in this bag. And I think I'm gonna start with the candles first so I can not have to hold the bag up uh, and weigh down my arm. I only got two. I have so many candles that I need to use up. I'm currently burning silver pine and cedar because I know that that is a typical like winter candle, but for me, it just reminds me of the woods and it makes me want to get out of my house, which I've been hibernating in for the past four months. And it's like, okay, let's go take a nice walk in a silver pine and cedar forest. But the candle that I did buy was the white tea and pear scent. The packaging is a little lackluster and I know that sounds really weird because who cares but when I went in all of the packaging for the summer candles were but if you know me I'm actually not one for summer scents. Don't really like them. They're not my favorite. If I had to choose, they'd be at the bottom of the list. But this one is their spring collection, and my god. Oh, it smells so good. If you like floral scents, if you like fruity scents, you will love this. It's just so soft. It's so calming. And for me personally, if it says tea on it, I will buy it. Because tea, scented, anything is my absolute favorite. Hello, baby. My little alberino wants to take a little dip in the video. All right, so for the next uh, candle, it's from the same collection, and it is the Sweet Cherry Pie, and this is actually what enticed me to come into the store because they were burning this one. <sighs> oh my God, it smells so good. Honestly, I am someone who hates cherry anything. So the fact that I was drawn to this candle is like opening up a whole new world of possibilities, but this one smells so good. You know when they say like, oh, it smells so good you could eat it? This is exactly it, people. This is the candle you want to buy. Honestly, it smells like you can smell the crust of the pie in this candle. You can almost smell like the sugar and the sweet cherries. Ah. Oh, it smells so good. It's very strong though. So I would highly recommend like burning this and only this if you're going to do so because I feel like if you were to mix this candle with other scents, it would probably be just like way too overpowering. So definitely check this out though if you love yummy goody pastry type scented candles. Okay, so that was it for candles. Uh, let's move on to lotion. And the first lotion I got for spring, hello beautiful. This is my all time favorite scent from Bath and Body Works. I absolutely love it. It smells so good. Apparently this one smells like white gardenia jasmine petals and magnolia blossom. I think this just smells so fresh, so clean. It is not too overpowering, so if you were to wear it in the office, uh, obviously don't wear perfume with it, but it would just still be subtle enough that no one would think that you were trying to choke them to death with uh, perfume. I love this though, and I do believe, did I purchase this in a shower gel? Yes, I did. Obviously, I did. This is my all-time favorite scent, and if you watched my February favorites video which is posted right there go check it out after this video you will know that this is my just go-to scent in the spring and I'm all done that bottle so I thought I would better pick up a new one another one that I've had before and I picked up again was the French lavender and honey body lotion it smells so good this one says French lavender nectarine de Provence and sun-kissed honey that sounds like a magical afternoon honestly 
Seriously, it smells so good. And I really love their Shea Butter type lotions because they actually do make you feel moisturized and not so gross. Like, you know when it's like slimy and it just feels like a wet lotion? No, this just melts right into your skin. Love it. The last three are body washes because I, quite frankly, have so much lotion to last me until next spring. Um, I picked, can you hear the wind? A storm of brewing. Uh, I picked up Beautiful Day, speaking of wind and storms. Now, this one, have I ever used this one before? I think I have. This one smells like sun kissed apple sparkling. Cassie's? Cassis? No, I probably not reading that right. Uh, and Wild Daisies. Mm. Oh yeah, you can really smell the apple in this. Love apple scented anything. And this one is not like a false scent because it's got some floral in there to pop it up for spring. Picked up a pretty on a peach. Now this one is my Sugar Bears uh, all time favorite scent. He loves peaches. He always burns our peach candle in our bedroom. Let's see. Oh, but no, no, no. This is just not so much just about the peach. It also says Jasmine Petals an apple blossom. Now that I've read that, I don't think this is exactly like the Georgia peach candle that he loves so much, but it still has peach in it and he will still like it on my body, on my skin. Too much information. Last shower gel, white citrus. I always get this in the hand wash, so I don't really know why I picked this up. Because to me this just reminds me, like every time I were to use it on my hands, dish soap but for whatever reason I was in a really big like citrus fruit kick so out of all of the body washes I apparently thought this one was a great one to throw in the bag but this is the white citrus uh, it has a little bit of lemon zest ginger flower and clean woods because nothing speaks like white citrus more than clean woods this one though again it smells like I feel like dish soap yeah, dish soap, hand soap, but you know what? It'll get used. The last purchase that I made was a little key charm for my bag, and it's for the, like, uh, the, the come on, the hand sanitizers. Wow, don't know why that took me so long to figure that word out. This one is the little hula girl. I love it. She's so cute. And I will say they are stepping up their charm game at Bath and Body Works. They had like this little girl and then they had them as little mermaids. They had where like the hand sanitizer can sit in the belly of like a dolphin. I don't know. They were just really cute. I've always wanted to travel to Hawaii. So this is just kind of like a reminder like make more money at work then you can travel to Hawaii and hula with me. She's so cute though. Absolutely love her. She'll be going on my purse and that is it. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick little mini Bath and Body Works haul. If you want to watch my other Bath and Body Works videos, I will post the link down below or you can click to this one which was my latest Bath and Body Works video. And if you want to watch more videos in the future with yours truly, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and make sure you hit that little notifications button so you can get directly notified every time I decide to put my face on the internet. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. And you can follow me all over social media. I'm on Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram, and it's still spelled the same way it's always been spelled here on YouTube. Until next time, though, guys, I will catch you on the flippy flop. Bye.